Okay, how about it, Sam? Uh, I got my other book box in today, so that means I'm just expecting my horror one. I gotta check to see what's taking that one so long. Okay, this is just a bunch of, um, I think, Harlequin romances. Faith, Hope, and Family by Gina Wilkins. The Clouds? No, the McClouds? Okay, yeah, the McClouds of Mississippi. Special edition. I'd actually think that one. Uh, if he could see me now by Rebecca Winters, it's one of the super romances. It says by the year 2000 satisfaction. What have you resolved to do by the year 2000? Well, that's 22 years too late. Oh, Discovered Daddy by Marilyn Papano. Intimate Moments. Daddy Knows Last. And it's one of Silhouette. The last of, oh, The Laws of Attraction, The Rose Cottage Sisters by Cheryl Woods in special edition. It says read of the month. <laughs> Yuletide Baby by Deb Kastner. It looks like it says Cowboy Country. She's love inspired.
Angels at the Table by Debbie McComber. Never Let Her Go by Gail Wilson. Tree. The Wedding Vow by Laura Abbott. Another one of the. Get on that. Just want to be sure. Yeah, another one of these. By the year 2000. One says satisfaction, one says marriage. The Wedding Vow by Laura Abbott. Angel in Time by Stella Cameron. Season's readings, so I'm assuming this is a Christmassy one. Even though it doesn't look Christmassy. Hitch to the Horseman. Special edition by Stella Bagwell. In bed with the rancher. Sarah Orwig. No objections by Kate Denton. I want to see how old this one is. Ninety-three. I kind of like. I kind of like the ones that were made in like was it the sixties and seventies or something like that. Because of they're almost made the same way as this. It's like a painting, you know. I'll give the nineties a shot. I guess if this one's good. Love Inspired Pine Country Cowboy by Glenna K. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. This is where it gets tricky for me because I actually do like the Harlequin books, at least most of them. Um, Pick which ones I really want to keep. But um, finding her way home, but I 
Linda Goodnight. One of these. I'm thinking this one. I might already have, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. If I do, like I say, I'll just get rid of it. Uh, ring, A Ring and a Promise by Lois Richard. Uh, another love inspired one. Okay, let's see. Well, I definitely want to keep these. I might get rid of that one. It doesn't really. Yeah, because I can't help out like the ones about Christmas and stuff. I think the only reason I really want this is because. I like the ones about kids. I might as well keep that one because I think it's part of the same thing. Is it the same author? No. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I just decided which ones I wanted to keep, which ones I wanted to get rid of. These two, it's like, these two are the ones I was like, having trouble with, because I did want to kind of keep them. I might, like, read them and then put them in there, but I'm not sure. Like, I might read them and not keep them. Um, because normally with those romances, I only read them like maybe once or twice, and then that's basically it. Even if I like them. So, I guess that's all I've got to say right now. Um, but yeah, when I get the horror movie box, I'll post about that too. And then I think about that, that's about the only ones I got this month. So, see ya, bye.